self-taught 22-year-old finance blogger who founded the capitalist Mosoto is of the view that Basoto do not really know what services and programs banks provide. This is according to the article in The Reporter. We live in a world where access to financial information has become relatively easy, but many still remain in the dark for many different reasons. For example, the jargon the industry is notorious for. In today's episode, I chat to Rilebuhile Cabello, a young blogger on a mission to educate Basoto youth in particular on finances. Now, for me, finances are very exciting. And as a finance, finance bachelor, to meet a younger version of myself <laughs> makes me really exciting. Cabello, uh, Cabello is a surname, right? Yeah. Cabello de Buile is... The, the name. name. Okay. Um, so, uh, you are very popular on social media under the name Manabu Bank. So maybe talk us through what, where does that name come from? Um, the name comes from FNB. Uh, there's, there was a time around this year, around uh, June, August, somewhere there. Ndate mm-hmm. uh, Lerato, who's yes, in the, the marketing, marketing manager. Yes. management, yeah. yeah. He had invited me to give me some goodies, which were uh, FNB's head uh, cap mm-hmm. and uh, a few things, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I saw so one about banka F and B kapong one about the banka cafe. One about the banka cafe, not really F and B though. Okay. If maybe if they paid me, yeah, I they should be, pay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, he got to approach me on Twitter because uh, on Twitter I vent a lot about literally literally most things. Mm-hmm. So F and B is one of the. People issues, yeah, about. issues mm-hmm. I vent about. Well, I give out compliments. I sometimes I, yeah, mo- most of the times I actually complain because of some some things like mm-hmm. issues and like I mean fees, mm-hmm. uh, the service, uh, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay, so being one of banker, um, looking back at your own journey, what would you say has been your biggest money mistake? Um, I think it's being emotional about money. Okay. Oof. Um, in this way, I think I have, I may have about two points to elaborate on. The first one will be, um, impulse, Im- impulsively spending. Oof. And the second one is chasing money, I think. Mm-hmm. So on the first point, I... Well, most of the times I believe I can make money whenever I can or or, or whenever I need it, which leads me to spending the money I have to save for the future Mm -hmm. for necessary things I need in the future. Mm -hmm. Perhaps, um, let let me make an example with maybe I need Mm quasari. Maybe I I might need quasari in about two weeks time. Sure. And at the moment I have limited money which will only uh be, be used for that grocery but then decide on spending it because of thinking that I'll be able to recover it mm-hmm. later which we never do <laughs> sometimes i do which has formed some sort of a loop because i always think i can be able to recover the money i spend Mm -hmm. mostly because i live alone so i i've been living alone for three years Mm -hmm. now so um i've been meeting up with there's this kind of situations Mm -hmm. yeah a lot and financially i'm independent wow yeah that's good so talking about being financially independent um you are a self-taught finance blogger how did you get into that or where did that start um, it started, it started back then in 2020, if not 2020, I would say 2018, but let me just prove out what happened in uh-huh. 2020. In 2020, um, I had a few, few insurance policies to claim on, um, at Metropolitan. So during the, 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 the process name. 
I was kind of curious on, on how do insurances make money mm-hmm. and in, it ended up uh kesa ke ipotsa gona ke banka le tsona na di tsa chilete jwang so i was actually well it actually came out of curiosity then uh a few months later after that i decided to buy this book called understanding south african financial markets mm-hmm. yeah and yeah prior to that which was in 2018 In 2018 I had psychosis for four months. Uh-huh. And then uh when I had to go back to school after four months because I had recovered, I couldn't go back to school so I had to take the whole year off. Uh-huh. And during that year I wanted to make money but I wasn't sure on how can I make money. Uh-huh. So a few friends of mine told me that I can make money through forex. Um the way they explained it to me was like uh forex ke ke tsela yo ba mogwe ka pele yeah and then i got to learn about that but as i was learning it wasn't actually similar to what i had got Been before told. yeah mm-hmm. so uh and along the way which was in 2020 most people uh it's actually the the, the time when i was most mostly active on facebook so ke ne ke give money but to buy forex game like on facebook so that's when i i decided to yeah get into this whole thing and mm-hmm. try to find out what everything really is mm-hmm. yeah so i uh, what i've also seen on your social media platforms is you do a lot of reading uh, around finance books and now you're doing a writing to a point where you've recently launched your blog the capitalist masood So how has the journey been um creating the blog and what have been some of the challenges that you've experienced Um first of all yeah uh that is the main challenge mm-hmm. <laughs> the main challenge is funding for the blog mm. um the blog we are, I, I'm, I don't work alone I have a partner okay yeah so um It was last year around November. Um na le partner e o ya ke kwa pane fela tena fela like we already knew each other from social media. Okay. But ke kwa pane in one day and then just talked and then after that e be lohana like hence the that like the blog the same day. Mm-hmm. But prior to that ke ne ke enze Facebook profile na a Facebook page ya the capitalism so to why i started sharing information on what is cryptocurrency uh what is forex what uh stocks because most people really don't know about mm-hmm. that like most person to be mm-hmm. specific so um after that like during that day ebelohana angang the posts i had on my page mm-hmm. adisa mon on the website like we made the website in one day i think nice yeah and uh we decided that we have to have our own url mm-hmm. our own domain name yeah so we hated the wix part like yeah the wix yeah mm-hmm. so um we had the money back then <laughs> <laughs> had the money <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay we, we had the money to change the domain name sure. and make it just the capitalism so dot com because we really hit the weeks part yeah, yeah. and the ads by weeks yeah. so that was the first challenge which of course we paid for the domain name only for about three months i think mm-hmm. but then we didn't promote the blog enough back then aha and then uh then life happened and i had to go to school my first year in national university of now I'm, 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 sorry, I'm sorry about that yeah. but yeah yeah uh so i was kind of preoccupied to keep on updating the blog but uh recently that's when we decided that uh okay that's fine we'll use the the domain name we already have which is which has the big spot yeah aha uh-huh. okay so i think i want to take it back well done on that as well and yeah. one i still want to know do you still have the money because you said back then we had the money so do you still have the money or oh, some kind of money right now <laughs> okay uh here's the thing 
<laughs> we don't we don't we don't really have the money like that's the issue currently we are sort of in trouble because of our because of our personal issues mm-hmm. so we don't really have the money for the for the blog because we are also stressing on the point of how are we going to monetize mm-hmm. yeah and that's a very important question but uh, on the point of monetizing i want to take it back to the banks um on social media you've been talking about well recently talking about the butabelela account okay? yeah and for me i got excited hobani the butabelela account is such an amazing product yet so many of us so to particularly youth don't know about this account which is available across all the banks so maybe share your thoughts on the account and what you'd want um people who are your audience to know um okay uh well i'm sorry to say this but first of all uh when i realized uh that the account portable account i was sort of disappointed to myself and i felt more like a retarded person because account e no ya account e long hore uh i don't remember the the date specifically but yes. in like like 20 like 26 24 some march this year mm-hmm. the reporter ela it's a for the money month campaign probably oh no, no it, it was just the headline okay. like uh cbl orders banks to cut yes uh fees. The, the, the directives i remember that yes, the directives like yes that. so i actually thought hore no if the bank account is our not globally lady fee like literally thought of that only to find out later that na hono bua ka botebelela account so botebelela account uh i would encourage anyone e long hore o batla hore a bile bank account e bile a ena less than 3000 per month hore a is because it's it's just a normal bank account but e long hore it has close to no fees because fees are tending yani the bank like the bank i use mostly which is fnb <laughs> of course they should pay for this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh it charges for deposits withdrawals uh like mo- like literally ngaregen mm-hmm. tongolong yeah mm-hmm. so with the account but for banga ta bakaba Yeah, but got to say. Mm-hmm. I think just to for the view. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Oh, one one more thing. Yeah. Uh I have I have I have a neighbor name. Uh she I think she normally sends money to South Africa. But really she used to go to the branch maybe o tla go pa ba thoba mo go melela chelet. But uh in a lona bwen le na rena nka mo thusa. I think even her she can actually yeah. benefit from the account. Yeah. So what I wanted to say to the viewer, the Botabela account is available across all the four banks in the country. This is an account that seeks to address financial inclusion, about to get more people to be financially included. So if you earn less than 3000 maluti or 3000 rand, you can open this account. Obviously you'll need your documents proof of id proof of residence and source of income whatever that is i guess yeah. and then it's like he mentioned close to no fees close to no fees so you literally get free atm deposits withdrawals you can transact you can so it has a lot of benefits so if and it's for everybody um people who are earning less than 3000 rand whether you are a helper a teacher whatever you can open that account yeah Yeah, even people are now blessed to have uh, a positive balance absolutely yeah and also it has no monthly fees like zero monthly fees and every single account has a monthly fee mm. yeah even mm. student accounts mm-hmm. so, yeah so i think drawing closer to the end of our conversation uh, maybe share what your thoughts are a couple of views on basoto and the personal finances particularly young people like yourself uh, where are they in terms of the money conversations <laughs> um hey okay i'm not really sure na uh, what can i really say about this but in toki recommend in ya the youth people like me the 2000 <laughs> yeah, yeah um i don't really consider myself the 2000 oh, but okay. yeah because cool. yeah but uh 
like mm. we are chasing that wealth instant gratification yeah mm. of which um I, i don't i don't really recommend that but rather i recommend people to look deeper into compounding like compounding as in in every single area of our lives mm-hmm. like ngeza masala ka ka a person who works out mothansa qela work out and then over consistent it's more like compounding to a positive something mm-hmm. but mothansa work out and then after a few days of the a khathala na let me take a day off and then the following day he says the same thing it was like it's a hore yeah compounding mm-hmm. a bit mm-hmm on the negative side so i think people should, should just compound an example can be uh there are different types of investments or let me just say securities financial securities available in lesotho masala can i mention the sure. companies companies sure. uh put it chaba ekaba masala but most people think ah na hypothesize or it can be in reach mm-hmm. it can be like it can be literally any 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 form of financial security along available which would help people to mean to keep up with inflation cuz but what ba ba khona ga ba tsheleta bona e ska ya man ka elongwe ba gara ene ne e increase ya ya compounding ya and then i think just in closing um what um any future plans or what do you yeah what are your, any future plans in the pipeline for yourself as an individual for the blog uh, the capitalism of soto and where do you see yourself in the next few years um uh right now i i okay like i i think besides being a student i'm a blogger i con- i consider myself to be a blogger and a sales person like i sell almost everything but mostly books mm-hmm. but uh on the blogging side i want to focus more on blogging and get relo reke reke ise so that i i i fully get into blogging mm-hmm. so in terms of the blog the only one blog i have which is the capitalism so to, um the name is like i actually got inspired by the book Yeah, I don't I don't remember his name but okay, the capitalist nigga I don't know if you know Yes, I know the it. book, yeah. Yeah, I actually got the capitalist there. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to call it the capitalist only but I thought of calling it the capitalist mosot. Mm-hmm. So in elo hore re bueka ke bueka well, I was still alone back then. Ke bueka information e long ba ba tlhatla me wetse ba but they aren't actually aware of because uh as i said i've been living alone for three years so i've tried so many things to get the money uh-huh. uh to a point where by ile hangate busiwa yo gabale i'm on youtube so uh uh the, yeah about the blog uh i want to fully get committed to it uh-huh. right now and stop doing besides being a student yeah stop the sales part like not fo- focus on the sales part kids e be ho re ke fumana re na what do my readers like um yeah or content the creator i think you, yeah. you understand yeah the compounding effect yeah. as well from a blog Lorena, perspective yeah how are we going to monetize it and uh in the f- coming five years go le ke ho re Yeah, on the the capitalism so tense le just a website but ka batla ga ho be le disemina ho be le a weekend whereby we go out on drinks like con- business conversation mm-hmm. over drinks mm-hmm. or cafe what mm-hmm. most people want to have that but haba 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 khono ba letsona and recently ke ke go metse ho re most people are trying to adjust to that and make 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 those so uh ka tsona re shibilo re re hle re 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 helpful to our readers like yeah okay nice man i think those dreams are very valid and i think just in closing what advice do you give to young basoto specifically what's your advice to them 
uh, or words of encouragement or words of inspiration. Oh. And also follow that with where they find you on social media and your social media handles. Yeah. So what's your advice to young people? And then where do they follow you if they want to connect with you or want to follow you uh, on social media? Um, on the part whereby they want to connect with me, take up power, get like your my details. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, but don't want to go to the bank, so but la, but la, but yeah, bank, yeah. So, uh, um, an advice on Kai Fang young people is that whew, deep, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, like, uh, Takataka, they normally don't work because they they I, like we want to, we want something to blame, mm-hmm. yeah, or like, someone or someone to mm-hmm. blame. And oh, happy most of my age mates, it's Now I'm so I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I have been independent for for three years, mm-hmm. so. They are comfortable, or which is cool. Learning mm-hmm. really comfortable, honestly. Yeah. But ngaba nga encourage but tore ba ba itsebe na yibo mang, and then listen to their intuitions. If intuition yahay mo bolel la hore, I say something, and then people are against it. Ke like I follow intuition because kamo kodi kadilin this whole block thing. People were somehow against the fact that I that I post a lot on social media. Yeah, because I literally post because I'm not a film, yeah. So, but never against that. But right now, it's somehow different. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, I've been chatting to Kelebuile Cabello, also known as Mwana Bobanka. And firstly, quick disclaimer, what we spoke about here does not constitute as financial advice. If you are looking for financial advice, speak to an authorized, registered, licensed financial planner or financial advisor or a financial coach. Secondly, and this has been such an exciting conversation because when you see young people coming into an industry so complex and simplifying finance, it really gets me super, super excited. Of course, I will link all his contact details and social media platforms in the description below so that you can follow him. But yes, he is on social media. He's very active on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, do head over to his uh, blog, uh, The Capitalist Mosoto, which I'll also link in the description below. And of course, if you've been listening to this podcast and watching this video on YouTube, you know the drill. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe and share it with other people so that we can grow the community. But also let us know, particularly as a young person, that Gabriel says that follow your intuition and believe in your dreams. So what are you doing as a young person in this economy where things aren't always easy for young people? What are you doing to better your life, to sharpen your skills, and to create opportunities for yourself? Until the next video. One more thing. Sure. I sell books. You sell books. I sell bo- yeah. I, I want to focus on the blog, but I also sell you books. You sell books. I want them to be my passive income for ah, now. For now. Yes, yeah. I love that. So young people, if you are not doing anything, <laughs> he's selling books, so I'm sure you can sell something to make an income. Come. And yeah. I mean, he did say he's financially independent, so that is that that is a big. I'll be grateful, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for coming to the podcast. I hope things will work out for you. I hope the blog will grow. Like you mentioned, the compounding effect it takes time to build. You know, yeah. so people will see you. Dibanka sent it to after yeah. all. So hopefully, all the banks will <laughs> jump onto this guy because I believe that he is about to transform and disrupt the industry. So until the next video, love. Peace and money. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you.